this is Suzanne and I'm talking today with Glenn from Dairy Smarter. Glenn's going to tell us a little bit about the new Slender Hose Tree. Uh, what's this that we're looking at here, Glenn? This is a, we have three versions of the Slender Hose Tree. This particular version is the flip over version. Uh, what you have here is, is a hose support that has three different adjustments. You have height adjustment by choosing which uh, saddle you put your uh, hose into. There's, there's three different hose heights here. And then in the event that you have a heifer that requires uh, a much higher adjustment, you just take it out, flip it over, reinstall it, and this gives you two additional heights. The highest height here is very adequate for your highest uttered heifers. And what type of barn would this be used in? This would be used in a parallel barn where you milk the cows from the uh, from the rear. Okay, so I got height. What else can I do with this thing? You also can move it from side to side. Um, and this is a demonstration uh, unit, so I'm going to show you on an actual sized rail, which this is actually for like a 27 inch, which is a typical uh, a parallel barn. But you really have 20... Uh, five inches of adjustment from side to side. Okay. Okay, because cows typically don't stand straight in that stall, do they? No, quite frequently you will see the cows, uh, sometimes they shift almost, uh, you know, the full 20 inches. And then there is a third feature to this unit? Yes, the third feature to this unit is in and out. So, uh, meaning that this is would be the hose coming from the uh, pipeline and you can slide this in or you can slide this out now each of these units are made for the size hose that the dairyman has okay so how do I determine what size uh, support I need well we have a hose size engage we actually make uh, nine different sizes from 7 eighths of an inch outside diameter hose up to 1 and 3 eighths inch outside diameter. Okay. And it's in 1 16th increments. So you can use this hose gauge or you could possibly measure it uh, in to the closest 16th of an inch. But the gauge by far is the better way to uh, to do it. Tell me about the, this air bone unit that you have. What's the difference between this and the 90 degree parallel unit? Okay, the only difference between this unit and the other unit is we, we do not offer it in a flip over. It must be, uh, be mounted to the rail and uh, as a spin over. And it, has, it adds an, a different, an additional angle yet. You can spin this. You may want to come on from the top so that you can kind of see this. Because a parabone, the cows don't stand 90 degrees to you. On a parabone, the cows might be standing at 80 degrees or, or uh, maybe even 75 degrees. And this allows you to adjust it to whatever angle that, uh, that you need to. It also uh, has the same feature where you can spin it. And when you have a high uttered cow, you can, uh, you can do it. And again, you, you can just turn this to whatever angle uh, you may may need. Okay, so, so it still has the in and out, the side to side, the up and down? Yes. And now it's got this extra angle. Yes, that is correct, So, which is really a nice feature. The other thing you might notice is that it does not have a, uh, a place here to, uh, to put it on the curb. In the event that you would need that, you basically would put it in and you just twist this over to the side. The reason for that is because of the angle again. Um, you, you, uh, if it had the other, it, you need to, to be able to twist it. So that's why this unit doesn't have the, the lower curb um, hole that the, uh, that the standard okay. parallel does. Yeah, doesn't afford you that angle that you need. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, now what if what if I don't want to use a rail on my curb? You know, you've got a rail here that's bolted, mm -hmm. and the rail over here is welded. Yes, this this rail is welded on. You can see it's welded to a round uh, to a rounded curb. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, this unit represents four different curb styles. 
These are not quite as popular. This is a fairly popular one, which is the uh, Norbco Curb. And this one is the standard Bomatic Curb. Okay. So we make units then that mount directly to these curbs, which I will show you. So tell me a little bit about the, the curb mount type that you have. You know, if I don't want to use the rail, mm -hmm. what are my options? Okay, well, we offer uh, a uh, hose tree, a slender hose tree, that actually attaches directly to the, uh, mounts directly on the curb. And then you do not need a rail. Uh, these, uh, we, we only offer it for the popular curbs. This particular curb happens to be a Norbco curb, which okay. is distributed by Westphalia Surge. And uh, this unit is a Bomatic curb. Okay. Okay. And you can see here how they, they just directly attach. It doesn't matter whether you, it needs to be a parabone or a, uh, or a parallel curb. Uh, it will work for either one, as, uh, for either straight curb. Uh, you can see here we have the flip over portion, we have the side to side, we have the in and out. This particular one you can see is for a larger hose. This one happens to to be for the large uh, the large hose with the uh, with the lining on the inside. Uh, this hose happens to be an inch and a eighth outside diameter. Uh, this particular, this is the Parabone unit. Again, it uh, mounts, you know, to any curb. Uh, this one happens to be for an inch and three sixteenth hose on a pneumatic curb. And actually, this fits the hose even better. As you can see here, it it it, it has resistance, so you can adjust the in and out. But yet it it uh, still will be able to move in the event that the cow uh, decides to dance. Again, you can see the angle. Okay. Okay. So let's recap. The slender hose tree comes in what types of units? Okay. The slender hose tree comes in a flip over unit where it mounts onto a rail. We also have a spin over unit. This unit actually. Uh, is attached to the rail. It does not come off of the rail. And then this is that's a parallel, correct? Mm -hmm. This is a parallel. And then you have the parabone unit. Again, it can mount on a uh, on a rail or it can mount on a curb. Okay, we believe the slender hose tree will pay for themselves rapidly. First of all, more milk can be harvested from the cows. How is this possible? If the milker unit is positioned properly. The teats won't be restricted or pinched. Then the milk can flow freely during peak letdown. Second, less cows will get mastitis and therefore you'll increase your net income by reducing veterinary costs. Thirdly, less mastitis should reduce your call rate and increase cow longevity. How does a slender hose tree reduce mastitis in my herd? A properly positioned milker unit will reduce squawking and potential cross-contamination. Also, fewer milker fall-offs means there will be less contact with debris that's on the floor. Glenn, you've milked cows. Why would you purchase the slender hose tree? Actually, for all the reasons I mentioned earlier, but the main reason I would personally buy them is because I hate holding squawking milker units on cows and reattaching units that fell off due to squawking. I believe the slender hose tree actually makes milking more enjoyable. Okay, and where do I purchase these units from? At the end of this video, you will see <laughs> the list of the distributors that distribute our product throughout the world. Or you can ask your dealer? Yeah, or you can ask your dealer, uh, or you can go to the Dairy Smarter website. Okay, thank you, Gwen.